Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with, with Jen Suzuki. Listen guys, the reason why I have Jen on, and I want to introduce her here in a second, is because uh, Jen, Jen started the car business when she was 18 years old. This is amazing. She's a mother. She's got three kids. Um, guys, she's very driven. She's hungry. Listen, I always say more women need to get in the business, but I want to tell you, everyone that watches this video, male, female, I don't care. You guys need to listen to what Jen has to say. She's <laughs> built with fire. She literally uh, is very passionate about what she does, which is why she's very successful. Her niche in teaching and training and honestly just motivating people and, um, and helping people is unbelievable. That's why I asked to do an interview with her because I love you guys getting the ability to learn from many people. And um, mm -hmm. I have had many teachers in my life and I think you guys are going to love what she has to say. Um, so, guys, uh, meet, meet Jen. Jen, you want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> so, guys, so Jen's in Colorado. That's where, that's where she lives. And, um, like I said, she's got three little girls. And she, for a living, teaches and trains in the automotive industry. Okay? Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you just start maybe, Jen, when you were 18, um, and I like to go there, okay, because I, I train okay. lots of people at different ages. Some of the guys right. that I train have been doing this for 40 years. Like, okay, yeah, you know, yeah. like they have seen yeah. so many different things and some people are 18 and they're, they're just getting started. And some people have been doing it a few years. Um, just real quick, what made you decide to start selling parts? Well, what happened was, is that I didn't really apply myself in high school. Um, high school was not my thing. So when I, when I graduated, I unfortunately didn't get accepted into any college. So I was left sort of without a place to go and I needed to work. So I started working in a Toyota store in California. I'm from California. And um, I just, I just started figuring out. Actually, what happened was, is that I started selling cars. I was working uh, in a very high volume Toyota store and I, you know, was thrown out there with everybody else. Like probably most people still today yeah. without any instruction, any training, just expectations. You know, you gotta, you gotta move 20 cars plus, and I'm with, you know, 39 dudes and then there's me. And, um, I'm like trying to figure out what's going on. So I was struggling hard. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, they beat me down every day. I mean, that was tough. I mean, and I'm glad they did. Cause look, I wouldn't be where I am today. Had I not had, you know, these, these experiences of uh, complete beat down and failure and, 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 and it didn't take long before I got pissed enough where I did something about it. So on my oh. one day off, I, um, and back in the day, they used to have these sales boards behind the uh, desk, you know, so you could see all the salespeople and where they were at in the month. So I started shopping my competitors. I just went out there on my day off. I look at the board. I'd be like, yeah, all right, number one, that's who I want. Yeah, yeah, where's Johnny? Yeah, where's Johnny? Yeah. And then I would just, I would just work him like the customers worked me and then I'd figure out the closes and I'd figure out his process and I'd be like I like this I don't like I don't like this next door same process and just go down you know every week trying to figure out how do you do this and it didn't take me long I'll tell you it doesn't take long before you figure out what you like what you don't like what why it's working why it's not working and then you sort of assimilate all right this is my game. This is going to be my hustle. This is how I'm going to do it. And, uh, and I crushed it and it, it didn't take long to figure out you got to connect with people. This is relationship building. This is about doing things above and beyond for people. This is about just being there, doing things that are of value for people. So nothing's changed in all these years. Um, no. but you know, look, you, you, you don't know how to do it. You go out there and you figure it out every single day until you get it sorted so you can see results. And that's how it started for me, you know, yes. and then eventually I, I went to school. Um, I graduated from Northwood University. I wanted to be a car dealer. Once I started, you know, you know, getting used to that money, I was like, you know what? I got to own this place. That's what I got to do. I got to own this, but how am I going to own this place? And there was a, there was a college that was private. So of course they accepted me and they're like, Oh, if you can pay for it, you can go here. And uh, the curriculum was, you know, how to operate a car dealership. So it was four years and, and, and I really excelled while I was there. I sold cars, put myself through college and, um, I continued in the industry after that until, you know, I decided to, um, to go out on my own. And that was also a total fail. I mean, after having years and years of success and growing, uh, then I got the smack down again. <laughs> 
you know, it's, it's, and I think even to this day, I think we're experiencing it right now. There's a lot of tough times, but you know, that's part of the growth plan. It's like, every time I get smacked down, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I guess I'm just closer to getting to where I want to be. Because if you reflect back on all those smackdowns, they got you to a better point if you want it, if you're willing to work for it. Nothing ever comes easy. You just have to keep plugging along, you know, because there's something new there. You fail, fine, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, try again. Now you just one step close, you can check that off your list. And honestly, like it's always like that in everything that we do. Don't you think so? Yeah, I love it. You know, one of the biggest things that I get from my people is that Andy, your passion pushes through me. You know, and I know where my passion comes from. And I'm just telling you, watching you, and I know that yeah. everybody watching you can tell that there's a fire in your belly. Like yeah. you have massive drive. And everything yeah. you're saying is not only amazing, and I'm just going to congratulate you. And you may say, hey, dude, listen, none of this is easy. It's all my grit and yeah. grind. And I got my butt kicked and mm -hmm. I kept going. That's the deal. You never quit. You have to want it. Yeah. What made you want it at 18? Did your parents mm -hmm. talk to you about? education, thinking big, what made you think big? I'm just asking, like, where did that just come from, like, just everybody saying you can't have it, and you're like, screw you, I'm going to go get it, or like, what, did somebody teach that to you? A lot of people, I feel like, need to know how to think bigger. What did you mm -hmm. think? I mean, a couple of things. I, I, I mean, a couple of things. I mean, I, growing up, I was a fighter. Um, I mean, I got my ass kicked all the time in school. I had a big mouth. That's why, that's why uh, I didn't do so well, um, you know, in my education because I don't know, I just was a fighter. And, and I think that's the thing is that, and that's part of the spark still in me is I'm fighting every day. I mean, I have a different purpose today than, you know, Perfect. in my childhood, but here's the thing. This is what snapped for me. You've got to find your purpose in life. You know, you've got to serve a, a passion, a purpose every day. Once you identify what that is, everything right. becomes so much easier and more meaningful. And that's yeah. what helps me stick to the fight because I know what I'm fighting for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for me, it's, I want to, I want to help people succeed. I have been beat down so many times. I've tried so many things. Believe me, you know, if, if you are thinking about it, I've, I've, I've tried it and, and I have so many experiences that, uh, there's no better gift than the gift to share, you know, what you've learned and hope that somebody else doesn't have to go get beat down like you did and they can yeah. you know, move past that and move quicker. And so every day I have a, a, a purpose to serve people. I have a passion for people. I love to see people thrive and succeed and, and every day I fight for it. That is amazing, man. You talk about a beast. This is called beast mode. You know what I'm saying? You may, you may, you may have your own like uh, sayings. I always say like, let's crush it. Like that's my deal. Like I just want to crush okay. everything. I always yeah, call it be, yeah, beast mode. Like that's just like animal mode. Like, I just want to be an animal. Like, you can't yeah. cage me. Like, yeah, I, I, I refuse to It's hard to, to contain me. I'm always like, take it down 10 notches. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. But that right there, that's just called the winner mentality. And that right there, it's, it, it's, it's addictive. People love to see people that are in great moods. They love to see people that are happy. They love to see people that look like, you know what I'm saying, they're the right people to be doing business with. And I think that a lot of that comes from the why. I think the why, like why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. It's a big reason why you push through it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so that's why I was like, hey, where'd your fire come from? Because that's important because we got people that like go to college and they, they make a lot of money and they do really well. And then, you know, they get into the automotive industry. And then we got mm -hmm. people that like, this is like their last like straw. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we get that guy, you know, he comes in, you know, he fell at all these other jobs. He just got laid mm -hmm. out in the oil field, um, whatever. And yeah. now we've got him. And he's like, I heard there was money in the car business. Oh. And man, you know, like, I, I, I want all those people to realize that they got to have a giant why. And it doesn't matter where you come from. People that come from nothing and end up with the most in our business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's beautiful. Rich people can make it, but people that have nothing can make it. You do it. the right thing for people. You know, in my childhood, I did a lot of wrong things. I mean, I was in juvenile hall at 13. I was stealing cars. I was doing all sorts of naughty things. Um, I'm not that person today. And I had an awakening. We can always change. It's your choice. 
you know, all of us can be good people and do the right thing for other people. And I serve that every day. I'm not shady. I don't, I don't screw people over. Um, every day I'm, I'm doing everything that I can uh, to see people be their very, very best. And I, uh, I did have an entrepreneur sort of spirit growing up. You know, I always want to make money and I was one of the nice things you know, and um, I, I had to pay for it. You know, my parents definitely made me work. They made me work from a young age. Um, and and that that's never left me. I, I, I fight for everything that I have. No one's ever given me anything. And so, uh, you know, I respect, you know, whether you have it, you don't have it, but there's something you can do with it every day that's meaningful. And I think you also have to sort of look at your, you know, when you say you, you know, you're happy, I'm incredibly happy. And that's because I force it every day. Um, it's eating right. It's exercising every day. It's being mindful of negativity and staying away from it. In the dealership world, you can be engulfed consumed by negativity. You could be on social media all day. I mean, it's definitely an addiction I have as well, but I monitor it. I'm mindful of it and I don't stay on it for very long every day. It's just little, little bites, little bites. You know, I want to know what's going on in the world. I want to be connected. I want to know what's going on, but you get consumed by negativity. It will take you down and look, anybody that's that's surrounding you that's 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 making you not feel your very best they don't deserve to be a part of your life you want people around you that bring out the best in you and that is what creates you know eternal happiness if you do the right thing be nice to yourself be good to yourself every day consume good things that make you feel good and be around the people that make you feel your best man i don't even know if there's anything else to talk about like we could just take what you just gave us. Yeah, we could take what you just gave us. And if somebody wanted a better life, just watch this video 10 times over. It's pretty much that simple. It doesn't require any money, right? What nope. you're saying, it requires no money. If somebody's sitting there broken on the other side of the screen right now or wondering, man, how do I elevate to the next game? Yes, skill will help you make more money. Yes, learning a process. Yes, getting great, you know, on the phone yes. right now. You know, like all those things matter, but none of that matters is if, if you don't want to do better for yourself and you don't yes. love yourself and you want yes. to go to the next level and you yes. have to, and you have to feel rich before you'll get rich. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, totally yeah. agree. Look, uh, things are nice. Okay. But none of those things matter. You know, the people, the people that you surround yourself with, those are the people that matter the most. You know, what you're doing for other people, that's what matters the most. There's, I mean, this might sound really cheesy, but I honestly, like, it's it's something that I see every day. It's something that I, I live for every day. And it's just, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it sounds so, but, um, I mean, I love people. I, I have a lot of love to give and that's what it is. I'm, that's what you see is that I, I want to give somebody something that I can, you know, and all of these things are free. All of these things don't cost anything, you know, and, yeah, and being that, good to yourself, that, that, that's just time. Yeah. And that's why you're successful because obviously you genuinely want to see people do better. And I yes. feel like that that's not something that um, is done unless money exchanges hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I put out free YouTube videos all the time and I do it and put out our best training. Just like you always, you were talking earlier before the video, mm -hmm. you were saying, Hey, I put out my great training. Um, yeah. And because you know, it doesn't, it's not about the money. It's about people actually elevating their life. And you do something that no one else could do. I can take what you do. I can steal it right now. And I'm not you. And everybody is unique and different in their own way. And if yeah. somebody's right now and they're like, well, man, I'm not as fired up as her. You know, I don't have that drive. You can own that drive, right? Sure. I mean, they can own that. They can take that from you and model it. And, and you took it from someone else. You've seen other people in your life that are successful or doing well or just are were genuinely fulfilled and happy. And you're mm -hmm. like, man, I'm going to model that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm stealing that from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what this video is about. A lot of people can take exactly the passion and the love and the things that you're talking about and they can just take that in their life right now and it costs nothing. It's free. Um, yeah. You said something, uh, audit your circle. You said, mm -hmm. don't be around negative people because when you want to make a change, let's say someone's with us right now and they're like, man, I want to make that change. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest about auditing their circle? Can mm -hmm. they do that being in a circle of people that don't want to see them do better? You have to recognize who's in your circle. And believe me, I've been surrounded by a lot of great people and a lot of uh, time stealers. And mm -hmm. um, 
once you recognize your self-worth and where you're going and you got a plan and actually you should put that plan on paper you should look at that plan every day you should put it under your pillow and sleep with it you wake up with it you go to bed with it you know you can modify you can you can change you can be whoever you want to be you know but um my mom used to say something to me when i was growing up she used to always say to me you are who you associate with and i roll my eyes and mm, and all this and honestly i tell my kids this you are who you associate with you choose you know who you who you who you want to be around because they will also define you know the type of person that you are and um there's a lot of people out there that just aren't they're weighing you down you gotta you gotta cut the fat you know you want to be the cream of the crop surround yourself with those types you can't find those types be by yourself read books you know go down positive you know roads that enhance your abilities you define your mood you know i say this to my kids all the time you can change your mood you can change your path you know snap out of it <laughs> yeah that's it and you have to smack yourself whenever you're in a rut because yeah. you can either play the victim right which is easy yes that's um, so right. easy i used to do that yeah, yeah, and, I, and I've been there before, you know, and um, you can play the victim, you can uh, talk about how bad your life is, and come on, it's not that bad. No. Your mind is just working against you instead of with you, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. for you, and um, mm -hmm. like I said, I think that you said you can go do a lot of things that are free, With we're in the internet age, me and you are really close to the same age, so yeah. the idea, idea is, I didn't grow up on an iPhone, um, I didn't start out at 18 like you did, and was able to log on to YouTube and watch a sales training video or, you know, Google something. I mean, like we had like cassettes and, um, and then later we had, you know, CDs and stuff CDs. that we would watch. <laughs> yeah. You know, we would watch that stuff and that, or listen to it in the car. And that was, that was our training. Man, mm -hmm. right now it's the information age. These people. Yeah. It's all great. right there for free on YouTube. I mean, for, for I mean, dude, like they can become great really fast. Totally. Like it's almost unfair. So I was I just thinking, I was thinking like they have the unfair advantage mm. if um, any age, if you'll just go and actually apply yourself. You and have to want it. You have, you know, and again, it comes back to how you feel about yourself, your self-worth and, and what you're doing and, you know, every day to make yourself better. And it's following a path. You've got to get your path down. Otherwise, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll go down social media, you know, uh, roads that will chew up hours of your time when you've got to invest it in yourself. You know, yeah. you, you, you are number one and then everything changes around you. Yeah. I think you will I get what you want. You will get what right. you want. You work on it every single day. Oh, it's just the laws of gravity. You will get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And I watched that Netflix series as law of attraction. And I'm not uh -huh. telling people to go to watch Netflix. I'm saying okay. <laughs> that don't watch Netflix. I'm saying go and train, but I watched the law of attraction and mm -hmm. it's like what you said, whatever you're constantly putting in front of you is what's going to happen. Totally. You may not be great at it now, but you're mm -hmm. going to get great at it. Sure. Like learning. It sucks in the beginning, but you got to embrace the suck. I don't yeah. work out because I love pain. No. I need it. I, I like the results. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to get the results? You, you, you want to suffer a little bit because I don't want things to be easy because life isn't fair. It yeah. isn't going to be easy. So the more that you can enjoy the pain cycle, the more you actually enjoy it. And, you know, you don't. I, I, Those I don't hits know, I don't you. feel as hard. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. You know, It'll hurt as bad. You've been through a lot of smackdowns, you said, and um, <laughs> you have your own lingo. And I was thinking about that, dude. Many times in my life, I have gotten my freaking butt handed to me, man. I mean, like to the point of sitting there and just wanting to give up. And I was yeah. like, Oh, me too. I'm like, Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna freaking give up, dude. I'm done. And guess what? Something just start. It just takes one little spark to start that mm -hmm. fire back up. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, I get pissed off, which is what mm -hmm. you said. Mm -hmm. And you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being mm -hmm. in that place. Oh, I like that. And you take mm -hmm. action and you just, and you go on run. You don't you know? stop. Yeah. And anybody gets in your way, you just run them over, you know? Yeah, and, right. um, and, and, and I, I think that there's a lot of people out there right now that can take exactly what you're talking about and they can, that into their life if they haven't had it happen yet it's coming okay we've all so, we've all experienced you know the the ups and downs we we all have our stories and we all have our pains you know there's there's 
I always call it, it's like door A and door B. We always are faced with door A and door B choices. And, it, and, and it's never the wrong choice. It's always the right choice for you. And if it didn't seem like it was going to be, if it didn't pan out to be, you know, the right choice, you'll be presented with these options again, A and B. Now pick the other door and then see what happens. You know, you just have to keep moving and keep trying and, and, and realize, uh, you know, everybody goes through these hardships. I mean, I have lost absolutely everything I've owned in my life. And uh, I've been in the gutter many a times because I'm willing to take a risk. Yeah, and be a risk taker. And bet on you, am I right? That's it, bet on you. Yeah, bet on you. When you quit the dealership, the first thing I thought about when you quit the dealership um, and you Mm -hmm. went and you started to do your own deal, you said, Mm -hmm. and here I was in a dealership making great money. Everything's great. I thought, man, hey, now I'm great. I'm good at this. I can go do this. I'm going to go do my own deal. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, you get, you get beat down and it's a different world and you thought it was going to be different. And there's a lot of people that enter our business and they see other people who started with luck or success mm-hmm. and they're not getting yeah. that. So they're like, man, mm-hmm. you know, that person's better than me. No yeah. ways, man. You know no what I'm saying? Way. Yeah. <laughs> you are you. Butt, yeah, you're you and that butt kicking. I see people right now that like come from nothing. And I mean like mm-hmm. nothing. And they're now making two, three, four hundred thousand a year selling cars. And yes, I love that. Called them a loser and a car salesman and all this, but, but you know, it's just like, gosh, man, if any people would just realize how beautiful that this industry that we're in is in, mm-hmm. but you have to stay a loner. Like mm. you said, surround yourself around people that will make you better. And if they're not there, just stay alone. It's better to be alone than be around bad people. Yeah, I gotta have a focus. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a plan. You gotta work that plan every day. And yeah. find a mentor. <laughs> right? Find a mentor out there. That sounds easy, but it's not easy. That's definitely something I've struggled with my entire life. Yeah. yeah I still don't have one. Yeah, I know. Um, me either. I mean, I have like I mean, influencers and a good yeah, I have people, that, people I trust. Yeah. Yeah. I like, like I, I watch Jerry V all the time because I, I love like, him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he's not in the car business, but I obviously watch Gary V because I just love how he talks about do what you love. Do yes. what you love be yes. fulfilled you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um do what makes you happy don't worry about the money you know what i'm saying yeah, he has good messaging yeah yeah you know and he cusses like a sailor but i love yeah, his, he's um, relevant yeah he's yeah he's, so i love gary v i love everything he says <laughs> I, I love david goggins um, uh-huh yep yep god man i mean dude i played david <laughs> in my so you come in my conference room and half of my conference room i have christian music <laughs> playing over here so uh-huh. i can stay at peace right here and then you go to the other side and you got David Goggins cussing up a storm <laughs> talking about like, don't be freaking weak. You know what I'm yeah. like? I've just got two things going on at one time <laughs> as I'm traveling through my day, you know? Um, and those are, those are, I would say, find a, a motive, find, find motivation. Find something. Find influence. Yeah. yeah take them, find somebody that can give you a message. And once you know, again, all of these things are free and they're at our fingertips. It's like in seconds you can find uh, something that motivates you, makes you feel good. You know what I mean? You can get yourself yeah, out of a funk, you know? Yeah, you can find good or bad. So yeah. again, audit your social media. I like you said, it. audit your negative friends, cut anybody mm-hmm. bad out of your life. And listen, mm-hmm. when you audit people out of your life, it's really hard. Sometimes it'll tear you in half, but yes. it's where you're at, you know, in a month or two from now. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to do stuff like that. So you, you get in a bad relationship, things break mm-hmm. up, you get a dealer that fires you. We've got people all over the world right now that we love that have been furloughed, let go. Yeah. Um, and you're like, dude, just stay in the game. Yeah. You know, like, please don't forget who you are. If you're 40, you've been working on you for 40 years. Don't let freaking two months break you, man. No. Yeah, you're going to get through it. Everybody, all, we always do. We always do. It's just, you know, again, get the plan back out. Maybe you make some modifications. Keep thinking. Keep moving forward. You know, keep yourself motivated. Keep, yeah. keep working towards something, a goal. Yeah, but you don't have to change the target. You're saying change the action. The action isn't yeah. getting you there. Don't lower the target. Just change the action. Change the action. And if it doesn't work, change it again. If it doesn't work, change it again. But don't stop and don't quit. We do CrossFit, right? So Mm -hmm. um, the main goal about CrossFit is don't uh, don't quit. You you want to finish the workout. That's the goal. Sometimes we do workouts that are so hard that um, we're puking and we're throwing up. And we call it going to the dark side. Mm -hmm. And guess what? (laughs) 
the, the goal is just not to quit. I don't care if I'm <laughs> first, I just can't quit. So yep. we write the workout and we don't stop until we quit. And my wife, she dusts me in the workout every time, man. <laughs> really? Like, wow, that's me. hardcore. Dude, she's a beast, man. She and, must and my, be. <laughs> yeah, I have a buddy that just flew in from Ohio, right? And he, uh, He's here, and anyways, the first day he came in, he's like, hey, I'm here for some sales training. I'm going to do all this stuff with you. No, 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 no. The first thing we did is we took him outside, and we broke him on a workout, <laughs> right? Oh and guess you're what? You're a beast. Right. Well, he said, who am I going to team up with? I said, you're teaming up with my wife. He's like, oh, your wife? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so I'll send you the video. <laughs> She's I'll like. <laughs> I'll send you the video when I'm done, just so you can see it on your phone. And um, I'll, I'll text you. We have a, a sales training group. It's called Car Sales Nation. Um, I'll right. send it to you. So if you want to join it, you can see some of the stuff. Yeah. But the, the main deal is I, I posted the video. Um, my wife, the last mile on this run, um, mm -hmm. he's stopping. He's puking. He's like, go without me. Go without me. My wife's like, she's like, you're not going nowhere. You better start moving. And she knows the rules. Like, we don't let anybody stop. We break uh -huh. everything. Buddy, we pull him along, even if we got to drag him in the road. And anyways, um, we drug him home, and he was in the front yard just throwing up, right? And we're just like, yeah, you know. Oh and God, guess what? You guys hey, are beasts. He loves it. He's so happy. He's here with me right now. He's like, dude, it was the best day of my life, you oh know. But he needed that. You can do it. You can do it. It just proves it. You just keep yeah. pushing for it. You can do anything. Yeah, he hasn't stretched himself in very long, mm -hmm. so he forgot what he was capable. Oh. You know, and I think that we, we, yeah, I think like you have, you have a more to stretch with you. I know you do. So do I. And right now people will say, oh my God, that person's really good. I'm playing at about an eight to my 10. I need to go. I've got, I got more levels to go. And yeah. I never believe anybody's ever going to be at their 10. So you don't I know. That's the that problem. Right. <laughs> yeah. You just change the goal. You get closer and you're like, oh, I'm going to make a couple changes here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and enjoy and enjoy the grind, man. Um, you know, so I, uh, anyways, we, we've been on a long time. I, I, yeah. I think that you've made so many amazing points and obviously you're an incredible person and, you know, I don't ever know if I'll meet you in life, but you'd sound like people that we would hang out, me and my wife as a family and the people we train, you seem very driven. You seem really down to earth. You seem mega <laughs> cool. And, um, man, you have such a good message. Uh, I wish you nothing but just crazy success. Um, is there anything else that you want to say before we jump off? No, I think we covered everything. I mean, uh, it's, I mean, you've done an outstanding job bringing, uh, these topics to light in such a time that's, it's tough, you know, I mean, mental health is a, it's a real thing and, uh, it may not be so easy, the things that we talk about here today, but honestly, you know, pick one thing and focus on one thing, you know, nail one thing at a time and then, yep. you know, work on the next. You don't have to try and tackle everything we talked yep. about today. My God, we're talking about years and years and years of learning and progress and smackdowns and, you know, and revivals and it's just, it's part of life and, uh, you know, appreciate your days, appreciate your time and, you know, yeah. it's all limited. So make a difference, you know, try to make a difference in somebody's life and any, any client that comes across your path, you have an opportunity to, you know, do something yeah. really good. So that's all yeah. we got. And, um, okay. I, I, you know, I wish you all the successes. I think it's outstanding what you've done today, you know, and just looking to share some new ideas some, you know, some stories, some inspiration, uh, with yeah. your, your, your viewers. So thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's going to love it, man. Look, um, if you guys uh, need anything, comment below, um, guys, you can always find her. Where, where can they find you? If they want to find you, uh, can they go well, on Facebook. Can they go uh, yeah. On Facebook, my company's e dealer solutions. I'm Jennifer Suzuki. Uh, any of those, you know, will find you to me. And uh, there you go. Yeah, she she owns e dealer solutions. So mm -hmm. there we go. Just in case somebody want to reach out and say hi or send you a yeah, text, I'm not sure yeah, how people sure. contact you. I'm I crazy. I throw my cell phone number out there. Oh, me too. And, <laughs> okay, cool. So you're crazy like us. So my wife <laughs> should be like Andy. It's ten o'clock at night. Yeah. Okay, no, I, lo one, I love all that. Yeah, yeah. she's like you've had one thousand text messages. I'm always available. In the trash can. That's my deal. I'm always there. I People will text me at two. They're like, hey, I sent Andy a text at 2 a.m. And I got a response back at 2.02 a.m. And I'm like, dude, I can't. I mean, but I'm not always up that late. But sometimes no, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I yeah. mean, 
one night we go to bed at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., you know, and then the next night we're going to bed at, you know, 2 a.m. It's like we're just, especially in quarantine zone, like yes. it's, it's kind of all over. But um, you're awesome, and we are Thank grateful you. for you, so I appreciate you, and you have a great day, okay? Thank you. 